Bauckham BP-20B, Natter, Target Defense Interceptor. Natter is a single-seat mid-wing rocket-propelled monoplane with a cruciform tail unit. It was originally intended to be completely expendable and to have a pilot ejecting device but it was subsequently decided to salvage the rear half of the fuselage containing the Walter rocket unit by means of a parachute. The aircraft takes off from a framework assisted by four solid-fuel rockets. It was primarily intended for attacking bomber formations. Span, 13.1 feet. Length, 20.6 feet. Wing area, 51.6 square feet. Takeoff weight, including ATO units, 4,925 pounds. Wing loading, takeoff, 95 pounds per square foot. Maximum speed at 16,400 feet, 620 miles per hour. Rate of climb at sea level, 37,400 feet per minute. Maximum range after climb, 9,800 feet. 36 miles at 500 miles per hour. Maximum endurance at 9,800 feet, 4.36 minutes at 500 miles per hour. Armament, approximately 33 R4M rockets or two MK-108 guns. Power plant, HWK-109-509 bifuel rocket. Fuel, 96 gallons of tea stuff, 42 gallons of sea stuff. BV-40 Glide Fighter this glide fighter was intended for attacking bomber formations after being towed up to the required altitude by an ME-109G. A wheeled bogey is employed for takeoff, and the glider lands on a skid at 73 miles per hour. The parallel cord high wing has a span of 25.9 feet and an area of 94 square feet. The all-up weight is 2,090 pounds corresponding to a wing loading of 22.2 pounds per square foot. The pilot lies prone in the nose. Armament comprises two MK-108s, one in each wing route in a special fairing. The pilot is protected by armor weighing 540 pounds, nearly 26% of the total weight. Armor for the ammunition container accounts for another 40 pounds. The bulletproof screen is 12 centimeters thick and the cockpit is fully armored with 20 millimeter plate at the front, eight millimeter at the sides, and five millimeter at the rear. It was proposed that the ME-109 towing the BV-40 should approach the formation head-on at altitude of 800 to 2400 feet above that of the bombers. The BV-40 would be released at the appropriate range and go into a 20 degree glide for a head-on attack. Maximum speed of ME-109 towing one BV-40 at 19,000 feet, 344 miles per hour. Maximum speed of ME-109 with drop tank towing one BV-40 at 19,000 feet, 331 miles per hour. Maximum speed of ME-109 towing two BV-40s at 19,000 feet, 315 miles per hour. Time to climb to 23,000 feet with one BV-40, 12 minutes. Time to climb to 23,000 feet with drop tanks and one BV-40, 13.5 minutes. Time to climb to 23,000 feet with drop tanks and two BV-40s, 16.4 minutes. BV-144 Transport the BV-144 was designed as a twin-engine, all-metal, high-wing transport, capable of carrying about 25 passengers and a crew of four. Two prototypes were built in France. The fuselage is a rectangular cross-section with the lower corners rounded. To the rear, on the starboard side, 
is the loading hatch for freight. The undercarriage is of tricycle design, and the skid is fitted beneath the tail. The tubular mainspar acts as an engine support and accommodates the fuel and oil supply. Variable wing incidence of 9 degrees is obtained by hydraulic power. Span, 88 feet, 2 and 1 half inches. Length, 71 feet, 6 inches. Wing area, 950 square feet. Aspect ratio, 8.24 to 1. All up weight, 28,800 pounds. Wing loading, 30.2 pounds per square foot. Fuel, 3,080 pounds. Power plants, two BMW 801s. Maximum speed at 28,800 pounds at sea level, 264 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 28,800 pounds at 13,000 feet. 292 miles per hour. Rate of climb at 28,800 pounds. At sea level, 1,630 feet per minute. Rate of climb at 28,800 pounds at 13,000 feet, 1,350 feet per minute. Service ceiling at 28,800 pounds, 30,000 feet. Absolute ceiling, 31,200 feet. Range, cruising at sea level, 570 miles. Range, cruising at 13,000 feet, 650 miles. Range, economical cruising at sea level, 930 miles. Range, economical cruising at 13,000 feet, 965 miles. Takeoff distance, 1,770 feet. Landing speed, 68.5 miles per hour. BV-155 High Altitude Fighter The BV-155B was designed as a high altitude fighter for operations up to 55,000 feet. It was developed from Messerschmitt designs. The first prototype flew in September 1944. The main plane comprises a center section of constant cord and thickness with tapered outer panels. The main spar consists of a box of 5 mm steel plate housing the fuel supply. The ailerons extend over the entire length of the outer wings. A Daimler-Benz 603A with high altitude equipment, including pressurized ignition and a special coolant pump is fitted. A TK-15 two-stage turbo supercharger is located behind the pilot's cockpit. Fuel is carried in five tank sections in the main steel spar. The center three sections are armor-plated at the front and have a capacity of 132 gallons. The two outer sections, holding 66 gallons each, bring the total fuel capacity to 264 gallons. The engine cooling installation comprises a closed circuit maintained at a pressure of 14.22 pounds per square inch above atmospheric. The two radiators are beneath the wing, the intake scoops being set back from the leading edge sufficiently far to allow for wheel retraction. The radiator fairing is carried well back behind the trailing edge. Here are our alternative armament schemes. 1 MK-103 or MK-108 in the nose, 2 MG-151 or 2 MK-108s or 2 MK-103s in the wing guns. Span, 67 feet 3 inches. Length, 39 feet 5 inches. Wing area, 420 square feet. Wing loading, normal weight, 29 pounds per square foot. Wing loading maximum overload weight, 31.5 pounds per square foot. Empty weight, 10,720 pounds. All up weight, 12,350 pounds. Overload weight, 13,230 pounds. Maximum speed at sea level, 261 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 52,500 feet, 428 miles per hour. Climbing speed at sea level, 133 miles per hour. 
climbing speed at 52,500 feet, 316 miles per hour. Rate of climb at sea level, 2,260 feet per minute. Rate of climb at 52,500 feet, 770 feet per minute. Absolute ceiling, 56,100 feet. Service ceiling, 55,500 feet. Time to climb to service ceiling, 40.5 minutes. Range, maximum continuous power at sea level, 285 to 670 miles. Range, maximum continuous power at 52,500 feet, 366 to 895 miles. P-163 General Purpose Aircraft This single-engine aircraft has a most unusual layout, a cabin mounted on each extreme wingtip. It is powered by a reciprocating engine of high power mounted in the nose of the normal fuselage. The port cabin houses the pilot and radio operator slash observer and is fitted with two MG-151s and a movable twin mounting firing astern and provided with 500 rounds per gun. The starboard cabin carries two air gunners who are provided with one MG-151, movable, firing forwards with 250 rounds per gun, one MG-151 in a dorsal turret with 500 rounds per gun, and two MG-151 twin firing astern with 500 rounds per gun. The P-163.01 is fitted with the Daimler-Benz 613 24-cylinder engine, and the P163.02 with a BMW 803A 28-cylinder engine, each driving a contra-rotating propeller. Span, outside cabins, 68 feet. Length, 51 feet. Wing area, 595 square feet. Aspect ratio, 6.57 to 1. Power plant, one Daimler Benz 613C of 3,800 horsepower. Maximum flying weight, 33,000 pounds. Wing loading, 55.5 pounds per square foot. Fuel, 6,000 pounds. Speed at climb and combat rating. Max weight with ram and exhaust thrust. Speed at sea level, 276 miles per hour. Speed at 19,750 feet, 338 miles per hour. Rate of climb at maximum weight at sea level, 1,240 feet per minute. Rate of climb maximum weight at 19,750 feet, 810 feet per minute. Service ceiling max weight, 27,800 feet. Absolute ceiling. 29,600 feet. Takeoff distance on grass, 1,600 feet. Takeoff distance on concrete, 1,480 feet. Landing speed, 87 miles per hour. Range, cruising at sea level, 1,280 miles. Range, cruising at 19,750 feet. 1,500 miles. Bomb load, 4,400 pounds. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contexts. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built. <laughs>